former National Treasury Principal Secretary Julius Moyer told the Joint Committee of Parliament investigating the alleged six billion shillings buyback of Telcom Kenya that the transaction was legal. Moya says that the Auditor General gave approval for the withdrawal of the amount to Jamhuri Holdings. Now, co-chair of the Joint Committee, John Kiari, however, put the former PS to task as to why the then accounting officer did not use Treasury bonds or defer payment to the next financial year in the wake of the 2022 August general elections. Take a listen. Telcom themselves tell us with government coming in 100%, we should forget telecom as a growing concern. It collapses. Now, are you telling us that with this buyback, the intent was to, yes, carry some little government, critical government uh, communication, but at the same time, thrive as a commercial entity? Do, do you think in your own understanding that this is a worth investment for this country? And if you are in that position even now, could you be able to continue this payment? In the medium term, Telecom Kenya, in my opinion, has the potential to achieve better outcomes. And I reason this uh, from my own analysis, that judging from the strategic technology infrastructure that it has, then it has the basis of doing a lot better than it is doing.